Okay, welcome to this fourth lesson for math review. And this one's on polynomial operations and functions. And again, this will be a set of three videos. And this first one is going to talk about just polynomials for now. A polynomial is an expression with at least one term. Five X is one term, and technically that's a polynomial. Three X minus four it's also a polynomial. Two terms, 3x and minus 4. This is key. Polynomials represent real numbers. What that means is I can do anything that I can to a regular number. I can perform PEMDAS operations. So I can multiply them, I can add them, I can subtract them, I can divide them. You know, there's a lot that I can do. We're going to focus on adding, subtracting, and multiplying for today. So we're going to start with adding. When you add polynomials together, all you're going to do is what's called combining like terms. Which I'm going to bring in as CLT. Let's say we had 3x plus 11 plus 5x plus 8. The 3x and the 5x are like terms. They both end, they both have the same exact variable to the same exact power. Same variable, same power. Oops. Three X plus five X gives me eight X. Eleven and eight are also like terms. They just happen to not have a variable. 11 plus 8 is 19. And that would be it. I'm done. All my like terms are combined. I can't reduce any further. And what about something like this? 3x squared plus 4 plus 9x minus 2. 3x squared and 9x might have the same variable, but it's not to the same power, therefore they are not like terms. So I have to keep them separate. So I have 3x squared plus 9x, and I have 4 minus 2, which is a plus 2. And 
And again, I'm done. No more terms are, can be combined any further. Subtracting is similar, but you just have to worry about sign changes. So change signs in second polynomial. What does that mean? 8x plus 2 minus 3x minus 5. I can actually break down those parentheses by changing the signs on everything in this second set of parentheses. So I have my 8x plus 2 minus 3x plus 5. The 3x starts as positive, now it's negative. The 5 starts as negative, it's now positive. And then I can CLT just like normal. 8x minus 3x is 5x, 2 plus 5 is plus 7. Two x minus one minus negative three x plus five. Same thing as before. I'm going to change my signs on my second one. Two x minus one minus negative three is plus three x. Now I'm going to change the sign on that to be a minus five. Now I can CLT. Two x and three x is five x minus 1 minus 5 is minus 6. And that's subtracting polynomials. Fairly basic. Now, let's talk about multiplying. Most people in the world have learned this. F-O-I-L. FOIL. And good. I'm glad you remember that. Only works for 2 times 2. So something like 3x plus 1 times 5x minus 4. Something like that. That's the only way FOIL works. First, outer, inner, last. What I'm going to teach you is a method that works for anything. So we're going to start with this one here, actually. 3x plus 1 times 5x minus 4. I'm going to show you something called the box method. Then I'll explain why it works. I'm going to take my first polynomial, write it like this. 3x, leave a big space, plus 1. I'm going to take my second one and write it vertically. 5x minus 4. I'm going to draw a box in here. Wherever they cross is where you multiply. 3x times 5x gives me 15x squared. 1 times 5x gives me plus 5x. Leave your signs. 3x times minus 4 is minus 12x. 1 times negative 4 is minus 4. Alright, so multiply where they cross.
and the ones that are diagonal to the right, diagonal upright, those are my like terms. So my answer would be 15x squared minus 12 plus 5 is minus 7x minus 4. You would get the same thing for this one if you foiled, but you can't foil something like this next one that I'm going to show you. Flip this over. Uh, I can't really flip it over. x squared minus 3x plus 2 times x plus 1. Oops. There we go. Same method as before. x squared minus 3x plus 2 and x plus 1. I'm going to draw in my box. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now where they cross, I'm going to multiply. x times x squared gives me x to the third. x times minus 3x minus 3x squared. 2 times x gives me 2x. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom row. 1 times x squared is just plus x squared. Minus 3x times 1 gives me minus 3x. 2 plus 2 times plus 1 gives me plus 2. And there are my like terms. So I have x cubed x squared minus 3x squared gives me minus 2x squared. Minus 3x plus 2 gives me minus x and then plus 2. That's it. Basically the reason why this works is what you're doing is you're distributing the x across everything here and then you're distributing the plus 1 across everything here. As long as everything, everything in the first polynomial multiplies by everything in the second polynomial, you're fine. This is just a way to help you keep track of your work. So I'm going to give you one more. x minus 4 times x squared plus 2x minus 3. So, I've got x minus 4, x squared, plus 2x, minus 3. Notice it's the same thing as this one, just turned. x times x squared is x cubed. x squared times minus 4 is minus 4x squared. 2x times x is plus 2x squared. 2x times minus 4 is minus 8x. Negative 3 times x is minus 3x. Negative 3 times negative 4 is plus 12. And same thing, up to the right, are my like terms. So I still have x cubed. 2x squared minus 4x squared is minus 2x squared. Minus 3x minus 8x is minus 11x plus 12. Okay, now one more instance I want to go over real quick. Let's say we had 7x minus 4 squared. Do not just square both of these terms. Because this is the same thing as this. Rewrite it. I'm going to write in capital letters here. Do not just square both. If you see it like this, you'll see the reason why. 7x minus 4, 7x minus 4. Forty nine x squared minus twenty eight x minus twenty eight x plus sixteen. 
49x squared minus 28 minus 28 is minus 56x plus 16. If you just squared both terms, you would end up with this. Wrong. Right. You're missing that middle term if you do that. All right, and that'll do it for this video on polynomials. The next one, next two actually, are going to be about the functions. So I'll see you in a bit.